New details emerging about the two brothers accused of keeping an arsenal of weapons at their apartment in Queens. We're now learning one of them worked as a security guard at JFK Elementary School in Great Neck, Long Island. Fox 5's Ashley Rodriguez has more on the district's response to his arrest and what they're telling parents. When 51-year-old Angelo Hatziagelis wasn't with his 39-year-old brother, allegedly making bombs and building 3D-printed AK-47s in his mom's Astoria apartment, he was working as a security guard at JFK Elementary School in Great Neck, Long Island. That's insane. Never in a million years would I think that a place like JFK could have someone like that working here, especially with kids at an elementary school like that. Brothers Andrew and Angelo Hatziagelis face 130 charges and 25 years behind bars for stockpiling an arsenal of weapons, from homemade IED bombs to AR-15s, from hundreds of rounds of ammunition to three body armor suits. The men are accused of planning to target cops, politicians, bankers, and celebrities. Their plans scrawled on a whiteboard with lines about human sacrifices and anti-government propaganda. It's actually really scary knowing that somebody like that would take care of our kids here. The Great Neck Public School District initially sent a letter to parents on January 22nd, informing them one of their contracted security guards from Aero Security had been arrested. But after the discovery of what was allegedly inside the men's home, the district sent a second letter, writing they only just learned about the severity of the charges on Monday. He has not been present at JFK or any district facility since his arrest, and he will not be permitted to return to school grounds for any reason moving forward. The superintendent was sure to include that Angelo had passed all New York state licensing requirements. He passed a criminal background check, an independent background check. He was fingerprinted and passed a drug test. Now, the DA said that he only had a misdemeanor on his record dating back to 1994. It's why the Great Neck Public Schools is insisting that the New York state licensing department reevaluate its requirements. We reached out to Aero Security, hoping to ask them how he may have slipped through the cracks, but we did not hear back. No idea at all what they were planning. And, you know, who knows what people have in their garages, in their basements, and they have to be, you know, correctly uh, vetted. Yes. You know, I'm so glad it didn't happen, especially because he worked at a school. Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 5 News.